When most people in the world want to measure something, they use the metric system. And the metric system is a very, very simple system. If you want to know how many meters are in a kilometer, you know that kilo means a thousand. So that means there are a thousand meters in a kilometer. Very simple. But in America, we use something called the imperial system. And it is insane. It is a stupid system. And it's very confusing and very complicated. And in this video, I want to talk about it. So let's start with distance. We'll start with measuring how far things are. And we need to talk about the units that we use in America. We start with inches. An inch is about, about that long. It's about that long. It's about two and a half centimeters. Now, I went to the store and I bought a ruler. Actually, I bought three. I only wanted one but they only had a bag of three. So you can see an inch is about the length of my eye, and that is two and a half centimeters. Let me just double check that. Hey Google, how many centimeters are there in an inch? One inch equals 2.54 centimeters. Nice, thank you. Now, 12 inches makes up one foot. One foot. Don't be confused by the thing that is on a leg called a foot. It is not actually a foot. This is a foot. There are 12 inches in a foot. 12 inches in a foot. Okay, so you can see that my real foot is not quite, not quite a whole foot. It's about almost 11 inches. Now we also have a yard. A yard and a meter are about the same. A yard is made up of three feet. And remember that one yard is about the same as one meter. So if I put these end to end, doorbell, thank you, nice. Okay, you're about, Dorba, you're about two and a half feet long, not quite a yard long. So you need to try harder next time, okay, Dorba? Circle, lay down. Lay down, circle. Circle, lay down beside here. Circle, up. there, <laughs> there you go. Almost, <laughs> almost. Um, let's see, and put this here. Okay, good. And I'm gonna put one more beside you, circle. That's very good, that's very good. Circle, you did a great job. <laughs> doing really good nice circle is about if you include his tail circle is about one yard long I would say or about a meter long good job circle boy nice now I'm relatively tall compared to a lot of other people not super tall but relatively I am six foot two. So when you want to say how tall you are, you say the number and then foot and then how many inches you are after that. But you don't need to say two inches. So I am six foot two. Six foot two, which is, hey Siri. Hey Siri. Hey Google. How many centimeters is six foot two? <laughs> six feet two inches equals 187.96 centimeters. 187.96. Wow, what a friendly conversion. Hey Google, um, how many kilometers are there in a mile? One mile equals 1.609 kilometers. How many feet are there in one mile? One mile equals 5,280 feet. 5,280, 5,280. Hey Google, how long does it take to walk one mile? On the website thewalkingsite.com, they say, an average fitness walking pace is close to a 15 minute mile. Okay. But a good pace will vary depending on your fitness level, walking technique, enough. walking goals, and terrain. Enough, enough. So if you walk for about 15 minutes at this speed, then you're gonna go uh, a mile. Now when we want to talk about how heavy things are, weight, we use ounces and pounds. Ounces and pounds. Ounces are lighter than pounds. There are it's not going to be simple, as you can imagine, 16, not 10, not 100, 16, it's not a great number. There are 16 ounces in one pound. What abbreviation do we use for pounds? Do we use a very simple one, like PN or something like that? No, we use L. B S. And I don't know why, but we do. So when you see L B S, that means
pounds. I went to the supermarket and I bought some apples. So I have here two apples. <laughs> I made the people at the supermarket very angry. I went back and forth probably 10 times with apples, making the people at the, the cashier at the register weigh it before I finally got exactly one pound of apples. So about two apples is one pound. When you go to the supermarket, you'll usually see two things on the stickers when you buy, for example, fruit and vegetables. You'll see EA and you see LBS. So LBS means pounds and usually things like apples are sold by the pound. So it'll say, for example, 325 per pound or 325 LBS or whatever it is. Circle, do you want to see how heavy you are? All right, so we've got our bathroom scale set to pounds. You can see there it says LB. I'm not gonna stand on it, but Circle is gonna stand on it. How many pounds is a circle? Circle, stand on it. Circle, you need to stand on here. Hey Google, how can I make my cat stand on a scale? Sorry, I don't understand. You need to be on here. Now how about temperature? When I was in China at first and I heard people saying, oh, it's gonna be really warm today. It's gonna be 30 degrees. I used to think 30 degrees, that's freezing cold. That's below freezing. That's below freezing, I would think to myself. In America, we use another system, Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit, okay? In the metric system, it's called Celsius, zero degrees Celsius, very cold, that is when water freezes. 100 degrees Celsius, that is really hot, that's when water boils. If it's 30 degrees Celsius, that's a very warm, very warm day. In America, we talk about Fahrenheit, we say, oh, it's freezing, it's below 32. So 32 degrees is the temperature that water freezes at, 32 degrees. Water boils, at 212 degrees. So when we want to say, oh, it's a really warm day, we might say, oh, today's 90. Today's 90, it's a really hot day today, a really warm day. Or, oh, what a beautiful day, it's 78 degrees. 78 degrees, beautiful, warm day. Hey Google, what's the temperature today? Today in New York City, expect a high of 77 and a low of 55. 77 degrees today, very warm, very warm. Hey Google, what's the temperature today in Celsius? Today in New York City, expect a high of 25 and a low of 13 degrees Celsius. 25 degrees Celsius, about 78 degrees Fahrenheit. Do I need to wear a coat today? No, it's not predicted to be cold in New York City today. That's just your opinion, Google. Don't tell me what to do. If I want to wear a coat when it's 77 degrees, I can. So that's how we measure things in America for distance. We use inches, feet, miles, and yards. For weight, we use pounds and ounces. For temperature, we use Fahrenheit. We use other things too. For example, when we wanna cook stuff, we use cups, tablespoons, and teaspoons to measure how much, for example, salt we need or how much flour we need. When we buy milk or gas, we might buy a gallon of milk or gas. So it's very old, it's very complicated, and America is one of the only places in the world that uses this very ridiculous way of measuring things. And I hope, I hope that America changes because the metric system is very simple. Anyway, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time. Hey, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe. And if you really like this video, make sure to check out my Udemy page in the link below. Okay.